It's like I went to Blano Fest in Eog about 15 years ago. I'll tell you the story, it's dead funny. And it was in the middle of nowhere. Blano Fest in Eog was about 150 miles from here, right out near Anglesey, past the peninsula, Port Maddock, and all that. Places right up in the mountains. And this fella ran a brewery. He had his own brewery and his own club on the campsite. So he come up to me and he's having a drink at the What time do you want to go on, Frankie? You know? I said, whatever time you want. So I got so on to a nice fella. He went, we had trouble here with Scousers. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, he said, they came here. He said, in the summer. <laughs> They were all right in the caravan. <laughs> then they started dancing with everyone's wives. <laughs> dancing with girls, trying to get the girls into the caravan. <laughs> he said, and Glyn over here, these bikers were there, you see, like a biker's place. They ended up fighting with the bikers. <laughs> I said, oh, I see. Yeah. I said, what happened? He said, to be fair to the Scousers, there was only four or five Scousers, he said, but there was a lot of them. He said, but the Scousers gave as good as they got. <laughs> so I said, oh, okay. I said, when was this? June. I said, yeah. all right. Okay. So later on, I said, listen, mate, you're not being funny. Has anything happened since, like? <laughs> so he goes, oh, no. <laughs> no. That's it, no, Frank. You're, they give as good as they got. That's it. I said, no, I'm just... If they thought that it was unfair, you see, yeah. if the odds were there's more, and like they might think of coming in, oh god, no, he said, nearly 200 miles to Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. I said, oh, all right, then. Anyway, I went back about six months later, and as I walked in, he went, Frankie, yeah. you're all right, he said. <laughs> Those lads came back here with three cars, yeah. ran into the club, hitting everybody, and he went. Even women. <laughs> <laughs> then he went. They dragged Glenn out into the car park. The screams were unmerciful. They hit him. They hit him with long sticks. I said, no. Long sticks? I said, baseball bats. He went, yeah. what's that? <laughs> like for television in America? I said, yeah, bats. He said, blood everywhere. They left. So I said, did you get the police? He went, oh, yes. <laughs> So I said, what happened? They blocked off the A547. <laughs> but they must have gone a different way. <laughs> he said, we found the car in Abigail. We think they've been in. Stolen. Stolen. So I, said, I didn't want to blow the lads up, you know. So I said, what about when they signed in, when they first come here, did they book in with the names? And I felt a little thingy tell yeah. I didn't want to blow them up like <laughs> False names. <laughs> <laughs> I said, he said, the CID at Carnarvon done everything they could. They couldn't trace them. They were looking for them in Birkenhead. I, I know they were from Liverpool. So I said, all right, all right you know. And I said, he was giving me drinks. So, like, oh. so he come up to me at the end of the night and went, I think he has something to tell you. I said, what ask you. I said, what is it? He said, do you think that's it now? <laughs> so I said, I don't know. <laughs> so he said, tell me this, he said, they let eight months go by before they'd done their reprisal. <laughs> reprisal. <laughs> so he said, what, hadn't they forgotten about it? <laughs> I said, yeah. They'd forgotten all about it. They were living their lives. I said, but at the same time, they were always thinking about it. Yeah. And he went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, Liverpool, he said, it's a bad place. <laughs> <laughs>